Out of all the different video editing apps out there, I have selected three that I would recommend using for iPhone and Android. Now, each of these have their own pros and cons, and there's not one app that's necessarily perfect for everyone, so be sure to watch this full video. Special thanks to Epidemic Sound for sponsoring this video, which with any editor, you're going to need music. Now, some of the apps we are gonna mention do include music as a feature, but from my own personal tests of adding that song to a video and uploading it to YouTube, some of the music in there is copyrighted content and you will get in trouble on YouTube if you use it. Whereas with Epidemic Sound, you have access to over 40,000 music tracks and over 90,000 sound effects that are safe to use anywhere online. Finding music in the style you want is easy too. Inside of their mobile app, I can easily go and sort through popular genres or moods and I can easily click on one of those. And then in the top right corner, I can click the filter button and sort this down even further by the genre of music, by the mood I'm trying to go for, and if I want there to be vocals or just instrumentals. You can easily click on a song to listen to it or click on it further to scroll through the sound bars or to explore similar tracks. And then if you're ready to download it, you just click the three dots, click the download button, and it saves it to your files. And then from there, you can send it over to any editor that you want. You can start soundtracking your content with my link in the description. I've been using them for years and I can't recommend them enough. And with that being said, let's go ahead and get into each of these apps. Now, the first app on our list is CapCut, and this is probably one of the best free editors out there, or at least has the most free features that you can use without a watermark. So this is on iPhone and Android, but it's also on PC and Mac. So if you want to edit on a computer eventually, you can still use this software and all of its features. Now, one of the main pros with this app is that it is feature packed. You have the ability to remove your background without a green screen. You've got auto captions. You've got fun effects that you can add on to your video, etc. Which leads us to who this app is great for, which is short form content creators. There's everything you basically need in this app to create short form content or to get started with short form content for free. But before you get too excited, there are some big cons with this app as well. Con number one is that some features are paid or move from free to paid. There have been plenty of times where you go into the app and they release a new feature and it's free. And then the next week it's now paid and you can no longer use it. Or you'll have a feature that's been free forever. And then all of a sudden, now they're saying that you have to have the paid plan in order to use that feature. And this happens all the time. And that might be just one of the downsides of having to work with a free app. There's, there's gonna be constant changes if you're just on a free plan and things can disappear. Another con is it's really bad with layers. So if you get into things like overlays where you're adding text and stickers and videos on top of videos and all these different things, it doesn't do the best job. Like if you're creating a short, it'll do all right. But if you are doing like a long form video, the layers can get really glitchy and you'll make a trim and then it, the text isn't where it was supposed to be anymore. It's just a really bad timeline where if you start to get into longer form content, it just gets glitchy. And finally, our last con is that you can't see the audio bumps. So basically what audio bumps are is like the moments when you're talking and the moments when you're silent. In some editors, you can actually see the moment you're about to start talking. And for me, that's a super easy way to edit because I can see that, oh, I was sitting here thinking about my next line for 30 seconds. I can cut here and then cut it out really easily. But without that, you're kind of just guessing and scrolling through the timeline trying to figure out did I just talk there? Did I not? Was I just opening my mouth? And this is something they could easily fix because the desktop version has the audio bumps, but the mobile version doesn't. So who knows? They might add in the future, but for me, it just makes it a pain and I'll actually choose a different editor that has the audio bumps over this one. And again, if you wanna learn more about how to edit with this app or any of the apps that I'll be talking about in this video, I will have the links down below in the description so that way you can see how to edit with each app and learn more about it. Next on our list of best video editors is LumaFusion. And this is probably one of the best paid apps that you can get on both iPhone and Android. And one of the main pros being is you buy once and you have it forever. It's right now a $30 price and then you own the app and you never have to pay again 
whereas a lot of other editing apps, if you get the pro version like CapCut, you're paying yearly for a subscription, so you have to pay every single year. With LumaFusion, that's not the case. You pay once, you own it forever, you're never gonna have a recurring charge, unless they change that in the future. The other pro with this is it has an amazing timeline. This is comparable to Adobe Premiere Pro or Final Cut Pro. Like this is a professional timeline where if you wanna have like a multi-cam setup, where you have all these different camera angles like in a podcast or you are working with multiple layers and screen shares and things like that this is an amazing editor i actually edited my youtube videos for the longest time on LumaFusion on my ipad and that's also who i recommend this app for if you are wanting to create a podcast or you are creating long form content LumaFusion is probably one of the best editors to use for that now the main con with this app is that it doesn't have a lot of features or that it's more of a a traditional editor so you're not gonna see crazy remove the background without a green screen effects there is a chroma key here if you have a green screen and some other effects in there but there's not as many as like CapCut has where you can add all these different stickers and things like that there's not even auto captions inside of LumaFusion which is pretty standard in 2024 but then again I don't think they're trying to appeal per se to the TikTok YouTube shorts crowd they are really appealing to long form content creators and honestly if you need to you could technically use both apps if you need to really remove the background without a green screen you could use CapCut for whatever clips need the background removed without a green screen and then also utilize LumaFusion at the same time and then probably one more con is that it is a learning curve to use this it looks a little bit different than a lot of other editors out there some of the buttons are kind of weird but I am saying it's a little bit of learning curve because I have seen people take the time to learn it and they do learn it pretty quick I do have a tutorial for LumaFusion as well that It'll be linked in the description. And the third app on our list is InShot. And this takes the award for simplest editor out there. If you're looking for something simple without a huge learning curve, that is where InShot is going to shine. Now, the main pros with this is that it has decent features. So the ones that kind of matter, like adding captions, removing the background from a video, like it does a pretty good job with all the standard things that you want to do, like add text, add an overlay, you know, etc. And I would really recommend this app as a great editor for creators getting started with YouTube and they're making their first few videos or for someone who is trying to make shorts and they just want to keep it simple without getting too complex. Now, the main cons with this app is it does have a paywall or ads behind features that you want to utilize, even basic features like adding captions. You can only add captions to videos under one minute and you have to watch an ad in order to be able to add that feature. So it's kind of a pain having all that in there. And con number two is that even if you do pay for all of those features and get the most premium plan with InShot, it's still a very simplistic editor. So you're not really getting access to more advanced features per se that CapCut already offers. So even if you do pay for it, it's still a simplistic editor. And I think that's where it really shines. So really only use this editor if you're wanting to stay simple forever. Otherwise, maybe take the time to do the learning curve for something like LumaFusion or CapCut. But if learning those is holding you back from creating content, maybe do learn InShot. So that way you can at least get videos posted. You're starting to create, you're starting to practice. Because um, once you learn how an editor works, it's not too hard to kind of get used to other editors. And the tutorial for InShot and all the editors is linked in the description. So whichever one you want to go with, open that description, click the link. It's going to take you right to a tutorial so you can start learning how to use whichever editor you choose and start putting out content. So I hope this video was helpful and I hope to see you guys in a tutorial.